Hi guys, welcome back to Garage Tech with me, Darren. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Audi's new RS3, which has got a new innovation, the new torque splitter. Now, the new RS3 has just set one of the fastest times at the Nürburgring in its segment. So it's just clocked a time of 7 minutes 40. And that time has really been achieved by the innovations within this new torque splitter. Now, not only is this new rear differential help it to achieve faster lap times, it also has a drift mode. So the RS torque splitter makes active fully variable torque vectoring between the rear wheels possible. Unlike the rear axle differential of the previous version, uh, the Heldex unit, which used one multi-disc clutch pack, the torque splitter uses two electronically controlled multi-disc clutches, one on each respective drive shaft. Each of the two multi-disc clutches has its own control unit, which uses the electronic stabilization controls wheel speed sensors to measure the wheel speed. Other influencing factors include the longitudinal and lateral acceleration, steering angle, the position of the gas pedal, the selected gear, and the yaw angle sensor. Audi Drive Select modifies the characteristics of the torque splitter and thus the car's handling depending on the selected mode. So there's five characteristic curves. You have comfort, efficiency, auto, dynamic, RS performance and RS torque rear. Engine power is distributed to all four wheels in the comfort and efficiency mode with priority given to the front axle. In auto mode, torque distribution is balanced, which means the RS3 neither understeers or oversteers. Dynamic mode, on the other hand, tends to transmit as much of the drive torque as possible to the rear axle for maximum agility and increased dynamics. This is taken to perfection in the RS Torque mode, which allows drivers to perform controlled drifts on closed roads. The rear heavy distribution of the engine power leads to oversteering behaviour, with 100% of the drive torque directed to the rear, ending up at the wheel on the outside of the curve. In addition, Audi has adjusted the engine and transmission characteristics. This specific setup is also used by the RS Performance mode, which is designed for the racetrack. During dynamic driving, the torque splitter increases the drive torque to the outer rear wheel with the higher wheel load, which significantly reduces the tendency to understeer. In left-hand curves, it transmits the torque to the right rear wheel, in right-hand curves to the left rear wheel, and when driving straight ahead to both wheels. This results in optimal stability and maximum agility, especially when cornering at high speeds. When driving on closed roads or track, the torque splitter enables controlled drifts by applying all of the engine's power at the rear axle to just one of the rear wheels. And this is up to a maximum of 1,750 newton meters of torque. The exact distribution of the drive torque always depends on the mode selected in the Audi Drive Select system and the respective driving situation. Okay guys, that's a brief intro into the torque spitter on the new Audi RS3. I hope you like it. If you do like these videos, hit the thumbs up, give us a subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.